Hey guys, um, I got asked to do a side chaining tutorial, so uh, here it is. Um, so all I got is just a kick, kind of a minimal house one, and then I got some white noise. Might be kind of sound horrible, but um, yes, yeah, so this is what it sounds like unsigned chains. And then I'll show you how to start chaining, and you'll obviously find out what it sounds like after. So and what you want to do is put both um, things into a, a controller channel, a mix channel. Sorry, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> it's really early, to 3 a.m. man. Um, yeah, so put them both into a mixer channel, and then what you want to do on the kick or whatever you want to side chain the other element. So in this case, it's kick that we want to. Uh, that, uh, oh God, I don't know what I'm saying. Basically have this side chain on um, and you want to put a peak controller on it it's really simple I'll run you through what everything does quickly um, so basically the base is where it starts you can see here so the mixer channels start I they are 120 I believe 125 but what I don't understand is if you do 20 it's that it, it just cuts out the 5 because this goes to 100 so that's what I don't understand. So you can do 25 if you want, but it'll be a bit, um, it'll be a bit under. Uh, volume is how much it's sidechained by. So if it's like 10%, it'll come down to like here, and then if it's the whole 200%, it will come all the way down. And then let me go back to it real quick. And then the decay is how fast, how fast it is. So really fast, slow. And I believe that inverts it, so it goes up whenever you do it. Um, uh, I think so yeah and intense the uh, tension is how much kind of how it moves so if it's up it will just stay down and then come up a tiny bit but if it's um down it will stay here and it'll just go doosh, doosh, doosh. so that like, kind of the, the power of it kind of thing and then this is the LFO this is uh, if you want to have a constant LFO um, flow going base where it starts again volume how much tension speed and then the PHS phase I'm not actually sure what that does. I think it might be the shape. I'm not sure. I've never really used that to be honest. And obviously the mute button. If you want the sound to be off and you just want the pumping sound to stay, mute it. If you want to hear the sound, unmute that box. So let me just reset this. So we want it to go all the way up. We want it to be on 20. And we want it to be mm, figure fairly fast. So we'll, we'll put it all the way there. And then what you do is you right click. Uh, right click whatever you want to be side chained so if you want the mixer channel I usually do this because it does all the effects so if you have reverb on it it does that as well um, and then link to controller and then click the peak because you're not really using an LFO so you don't have to do that one you can if you want but um, if you're using the LFO as well and we're just using a peak so we'll click on it and then make sure you go to mapping formula and inverted that'll make sure it goes oh, that'll make sure it goes down not up and then just accept and now you should have this effect pretty basic um, I was going to say something else what was it um, if you wanted to add another one so let's just um, then let's clone this kick and change it a little bit and let's do this make it a little cool pattern it's going to sound really horrible now it's um hang on, let's change make it a bit uh, let's make it a bit clearer for you here. So we'll take this off and we'll make a new channel. Put another peak controller in. So this is if you want to um have two it side chain to two different things. So I'll show you how to do that quickly. Um same setup, blah blah blah, douche. And twenty percent and full volume and unmute. Um, yeah, so uh, what you gotta do is right click again, link to controller, and then add a new link. And then voila, you have a fresh controller page, and then you just click whatever one it is and whatever you're using. And inverted, and voila, and it should be side by both. Simple. Um, I'll probably do a few more tutorials like this, they're pretty basic, but they were just requested, so. 
I uh, hope it helped. If you have any questions, ask in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.